I know many of you have heard of the most recent wave of successful weight loss drugs that are exciting our patients. That would be the GLP-1 medications. You may have heard of some of the more popular names such as Ozempic and Wagovi and Manjaro. Most patients are aware of the benefits of this particular drug class. Our patient care team, however, remains inundated with very reasonable questions about these medications. The most common is, what are the side effects? And for those of you already taking and experienced success on the medication, you are reaching out and asking us if some of the symptoms you are experiencing are normal. Well, don't fret, I'm here to tell you that a number of patients have or had, yay, past tense, some side effects including hmm, nausea, a little bit of vomiting, some diarrhea, constipation, acid reflux, fatigue, and headache. Those are the most common side effects reported in the literature and indeed verified in real life by reports from our patients. Some other symptoms reported from patients specifically related to dehydration or signs of low blood sugar can manifest as palpitations or feeling like your heart is skipping fast or missing a beat or feeling a little dizzy or lightheaded or faint as some people like to call it. This is likely a result of the GLP-1 medication decreasing the appetite and helping the body to actually be more efficient with releasing insulin. That insulin grabs up that extra sugar floating around in the blood. These patients just aren't eating or drinking enough fluids during the day or haven't figured out how much to eat or drink to stay hydrated and maintain electrolytes when they aren't really that hungry. A small subset of patients with gallbladder and pancreatic disease may experience a flare-up of these conditions. So it's important to contact your medical provider if the symptoms you're experiencing do not improve with supportive measures that we tell you to do at home. We are also able to send prescriptions to your local pharmacy for many of these side effects. These side effects are most likely to occur when beginning the medication or increasing up the dose. If you are worried, again, don't fret. These symptoms usually get better with time and should be nearly gone after receiving the second injection at the next dose. Let's discuss for a moment how we can counteract some of these side effects, many of which stem from slow food transit through the intestines while on GLP-1. A lot of patients want to skip doses and go straight to the top. We titrate up the doses slowly and intentionally to give the body a chance to get used to the medication and minimize the potential of having these side effects. Some patients actually never reach the maximum dose because we work to find that dose that is a sweet spot and has you losing weight but not plaguing you with the side effects. Next, stay hydrated. Get one of those water bottles with markers lined up on the side. Leave a sticky note or a reminder in your phone. Make sure you are getting electrolytes in the water or unsweetened beverage that you are drinking. We offer a wide variety of supplements and vitamins that can help you to keep your levels from dipping too low. Make sure that you're eating and eating what's needed to keep the body moving without crashing from not enough calories or from your blood sugar dipping too low. Eat protein, produce, and good fats. If you eat a honey bun, 30 minutes later, you're going to be slumped over at your desk with no energy and feeling not so great. You know why? The insulin rushed in to grab all that extra sugar floating in the bloodstream and is working overtime to metabolize all of it. Now your blood sugar has actually crashed from all that insulin and it's not at a steady level anymore. It's like your blood sugar riding on a roller coaster and those fluctuations are not going to make you feel very well. The body enjoys balance or what we call homeostasis. Okay, on to the next. Headaches. Simple acetaminophen or ibuprofen over the counter can help with headaches. For GI upset, Ginger, small frequent meals, and blander foods can help with nausea, vomiting, and acid reflux. Stool softeners and good fiber with water intake can help with constipation 
as does psyllium husk scam probiotics. OptiCleanse is a great way to make sure your gut flora is balanced to help to reduce the chances of GI side effects. Fatigue follows the same recommendations with B vitamins and B12 specifically helping to play a role in boosting energy as well as metabolism. We have to remember, energy intake or calories are not the enemy. We need calories to sustain our body's functions, but they need to be good calories. Meeting with your weight loss health coach to determine the best source and ratios of caloric intake is a must, as not having an appetite and not eating are definitely going to leave you tired. Last, all of us want to feel our best. Everyone knows that feeling yucky can mentally derail us from staying the course. Remember, we want you to be functional as you embark on this journey. Talk with your care team and your medical provider so we can work with you to find the GLP medication and the correct dose that works for you. Did you like this video? Like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you can stay up to date on our latest videos. You can also visit our website using the link below to schedule a free consultation with us. We have options for everybody.